all the engines on Sodor are a bright, bold color. But this engine has been working in the coaling plant today and is covered in coal dust. How can you tell who it is? This engine has a round face and boiler. Do all the engines have round faces? No. Toby and Salty have square faces, so it can't be either of them. What else can you see? This engine has a separate coal tender at the back. Do all the other engines have a separate coal tender? No. Thomas and Percy don't, so it can't be either of them. Now look at the engine's funnel. It's very tall. What about the other engines? Do they all have tall funnels? No. Gordon and Henry have short funnels, so it can't be either of them. Who's left? Edward and James. Edward and James both have round faces, separate coal tenders, and tall funnels. It's time for this engine to have a washdown. What color can you see now? Red. So it can't be Edward. It must be James. Hello, James. James and the Red Balloon. It is summer holiday time on the island of Sodor. Vacationers come from far and wide to enjoy the beauty of the island. It is the busiest time of the year for Sir Topham Hatt's engines. Thomas was excited. Sir Topham Hatt had sent him to pick up a special to deliver to Dryor Airfield. Hey, what have you got there, tooted Percy. A balloon, replied Thomas. A party balloon, asked Percy excitedly. No, said Thomas, this is a very special balloon. And he chuffed away. Soon, Thomas arrived at the airfield. And hot air was puffed into the balloon. And then James arrived. What is that? He huffed. A hot air balloon, said Thomas. It will take vacationers on rides around the island. Taking vacationers on rides around the island is our job, wished James jealously. Then, as if by magic, the hot air balloon rose silently up into the sky. What if the hot air balloon takes our passengers away, chuffed James. What will happen to us then? This made Thomas worry. Suddenly, he wasn't so excited about the balloon. The balloon could be seen by everyone on the island of Sodor. Duck gazed at it for so long, he ran into the back of Stepney. Oh, it's a floating basket with people in it, said Donald. Whatever will they dream up next, said Douglas. James and Thomas were waiting at the level crossing. They were still worried about the hot air balloon. If it takes our passengers away, chuffed Thomas, there'll be no use for us engines. Passengers should travel on trains, huffed James, not in silly balloons. 